I mean, just this last week has been very painful for you because you were a friend of Caroline Flack. Yeah. And you can't get away from it, can you? Because everybody has is talking about her death. And I think so many people feel really deeply affected by it. But how are you? Yeah, I mean, I'm with everybody else, deeply affected. You uh, were a mate. In fact, you were. I think you were texting with her not too long before she actually took her own life. Why? Why were, were you just talking friendly things or were you worried about her? What was going on? Um, no, I think everyone that um, was friends with Caroline was definitely worried about her. So, yeah, I was one of them. I was worried about her and um, I did what we all would do and reached out to her. Well, we were, we were always in um, conversation anyway and um, checked if she was all right and obviously she wasn't. No, and she and she actually did tell people from time to time that she was struggling. But it seems that while while clearly she had lots and lots of issues going on, and the pressure of being as famous as she was, and the social media trolling and all the rest of it, what seemed to really be getting to her in recent days was the upcoming trial. Yeah. Did she say anything about it to you? I mean, yeah. obviously, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to say um, what we spoke about privately because I wouldn't have done that. Um, if she was still with us, and, and I won't do it now, she's not. But what I will say is that people are focusing on the trolling, which I understand why, and that does need to stop. It's absolutely horrific. But it was the media as well, and it was the fact that it was relentless and, you know, this clickbait society that we live in, which online newspapers just want to constantly update their sites and need this constant need for more clicks, more clicks, more clicks. And their clickbait is totally wrong, but it gets you to click on them. And it's so damaging. So it was the media that was the problem, as well as obviously many other things. Um, yeah, she was absolutely... Um, terrified of, of the trial and who wouldn't have been. And it was mm. so wrong that she was tried. I mean, I didn't realise I was going to be um, saying all of this, but it's just from my heart, it was so, it's so horrific that she was tried by the public and by, by everybody before she was even tried Officially. in front of a judge. Yes. You know, everyone found her guilty before she was found guilty and she wouldn't have been found guilty. It was so, it was just so, it was so wrong and so unjust and there's so many people. I mean, blame is the worst thing and especially at a time like this. So, you know, as I said, I didn't realise. Well, no, that's what I wonder. I mean, ever, is it appropriate to, to play the blame game, to look for anyone to blame at this point? Well, I don't think it's appropriate, but what I do think that, that we need to have a solution for it because she, Caroline went far too quickly and we don't want anyone else to do the same. So let's not just keep on focusing on the trolls because that is a major part of what people have to deal with. But let's also focus on the media and, you know, or, you know who sold the pictures of, you know, of her bedroom you know let's let why were they even printed it was that of public interest no it absolutely wasn't let's wait if, she, if Caroline got found guilty which she never will and never would have done then you know then maybe it would have been public interest but before before she was she should have been in South Africa presenting Love Island and we would have had a different outcome mm, absolutely Ian what, I wonder what your thoughts are because I was very shocked at the pictures that were printed Previous to a hearing, the pictures of the crime scene, what do you think? Um, I haven't seen those pictures, but I do think questions have to be asked about the role of the CPS here. Um, what, That's the what, Crown Prosecution yeah, Service. What interest was served by bringing this case when her boyfriend clearly didn't want to press charges and the courts um, wouldn't allow her to even have any contact with him? Mm -hmm. Um, I, I've never heard of that. No, before, me either. Particularly when, when he was obviously wanting to have contact with her. So I, I think, I mean, yes, we can all have a go at the tabloid media. That's what will inevitably happen in these situations. But I do think that there are legitimate questions to ask why this case was brought in the first place. Mm, and it clearly put an awful lot of yeah, pressure but, on but her. Also, I think it, it came out, I think, a few days before she took her own life that there was going to be some sort of video that was going to be played. And I'd no, I don't know Caroline Flack, I'd never met her, but 
I mean, that would have added to her trauma, mm, I suppose. Exactly. Suspect. Yeah, I mean, and any of the experts we've talked to uh, in recent days say if somebody does take their own life, it's usually multifactorial. There are lots and yeah. lots of reasons. Um, it's, it's never simple at all. Mm -hmm. But it was clearly one of the extra added pressures. I know you're very worried about the pressures of social media, particularly. Yeah, I mean, but I also think that we as a society need to take responsibility for our actions. I mean, you know, all of these newspapers and magazines and online sites are being fueled by our desire for gossip. You know, oh, who's doing what? Who's sleeping with who? Who's leaving who? who? We all need to take a look at ourselves as well and work out this desire and this, this need for constantly trying to revel in other people's misfortune. That's something that do I think Do you think we do? Or do well, you I think it's... you go into any newspaper, any news agents, any, you look at the bank of... of magazines that are out there that are still being sold and they're being sold because people are buying them. You know, if they weren't yes. being bought, they would close. There are but, lots of magazines that end up closing because of lack of, of, of readership. So all of these sort of online, well, not just the online ones, but all of the ones that you see, like I'm trying to think of the names of some of them. Um, but I mean, you, you say that, but all, I'm sure all three of you value the amount of people you have following you on your Twitter or Instagram account. Uh, and that's part of what you do. Isn't that's it? a different that's thing. That's a you, totally different thing. But it's inviting. It's, it's playing that yes, game. Though. Absolutely. Well, yeah, but you can, you know, you can play a game fairly, can't you? You know, I, I, I get trolled. I... Last time I did this show, I, I deactivated my Twitter because I can't bear you're fat, you're old, you're ugly, you're dumb. I can't bear this every single time I appear on TV or I put a picture up to be knocked, my confidence knocked. And if I'm not strong enough to deal with that that day, mm. I won't look. But maybe I am strong enough and some people aren't. aren't. You know, yes. I have Twitter and I have Instagram not to be abused. I have it because that is the social... It's also part of your job. That's our job. But I, I'm not going on um, Twitter and, and, and finding Joe blogs who I don't know and just being nasty to them constantly. You know, it's, it's unfair for people to say, just don't look. You know, I don't look because I can't take it anymore. But some people aren't as strong as me. And we need to have... But this is not just Caroline, because as I say, I think the, the social media wasn't the, the biggest part in it. But I do think for everyone, you know, we need to have better rules and regulations. We need to be accountable. You, ca you should not be able to just set up a Twitter account with, you know, a, an yeah, egg on there. You should not. Right. If you are going to be brave enough to call me these things, to call my family these things, not just me, I'm just speaking because I'm speaking personally, then be accountable for it. Let me know who you are. Yes. Let me know who you are. Well, because you would yeah. not walk up to me in the street and say this to me. You absolutely wouldn't. I've done this job since I was 15 and I'm now nearly 40. Uh, and um, <laughs> I, no. I, not, not you one don't person. Look thank, you, thank you guys, I needed that. <laughs> not one person has ever walked up to me in the street and said something no, bad and I dare them to, and they there wouldn't. Was a, there was a remarkable oh, story we heard of yesterday of a woman who has, was walking home through the floods and the, and the rain and the, and the wind and everything um, where she lives. Um, and and she was uh, she flagged down a car to help her, and the person who picked her up was her local MP. And she yeah. said, "I've always bad mouthed um, on social media that particular woman," and she turned out to be really and nice. It, it's, it's and so it felt like saying, "Why did you have to bad mouth her in the first place?" But it just shows. It is so easy to do it, and uh, and it's so instantaneous that people often don't think. And I sometimes will reply to these people. Me too. And, say, Ooh, uh, and, and then, of course, uh, some of the time, not all, but some of the time, they say, "Oh, I didn't mean you." Yeah. Well, yes, you did. Actually. Yes, you did. I think yes. Social media. It's good. It's an interesting point because my my oldest daughter has just turned eleven, and and Willow is very keen to get you know like all yes, Snapchat and Instagram and everything. And I was trying to explain it to her the other day, and I was sort of saying, imagine if you and your best friend both posted the same picture, mm. and your best friend got a hundred likes, and you only got ten likes, and whilst posting that picture somebody said you look really ugly in that dress I said how would that make you feel and you can see it sort of because at the moment it's not going in but I think as as human beings we all want affirmation you know we all want people to like us and yeah. and, and yet there social are so many media, people sadly is, is, a, is a huge platform yes. isn't it well look we'll move on for the moment uh, let me just uh, say that um, if you are affected by the discussions that we've been having particularly about Caroline or anything um, you can call the Samaritans by the way one 
116123 for the Samaritans or visitors. Visit samaritans.org. I think that's important to say.